shelf project and it's going to be a Luxury Jones inspired boho boot. So I've already kind of went through the trials and tribulations of making one boot. So this is what we got so far. Um, just a very fun boot. It's very different, very good fall, um, wintery style thing that's going on here. So I'm really excited to get started on the opposite boot. Um, what you need for this project is some glue. I'm using super glue. You can use fabric glue if you decide to use lace or you can use um, more industrial glue, but I'm just using Loctite super glue. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors. Um, obviously, you're going to be needing a cowboy boot. Um, you're gonna need the ones that are actually leather all the way throughout. That way you can actually glue the belts and the fabrics onto the boot without it tearing through cloth or anything like that. So a full leather boot. I decided to go with mauvey pink type of boot, so that's exciting. And you're going to need um, just several belts. I'm using some that I went out and actually got at Goodwill and at a, other couple of thrift shops that I have. So I'm using different belts for different my different boots. So yeah, we're just gonna get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your boot and you're gonna cut down the spine. So on the boot, there is a heel top and it is where kind of like the V of the heel meets right here. And you're gonna cut down the back of the spine all the way down to that. So I'm going to do that now. I went and thrifted my cowboy boots. Um, I actually got them off Craigslist because I have really tiny feet. And so that is how I got my boots. Next, after you've cut down all the way to the top of your heel tap, you're just going to take your boots and you're just going to fold them over. It's going to be kind of finicky because it doesn't want to do this, of course. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. It's going to try to be like flying away, but that's okay because we're going to use our belts to taper it in. The first thing you want to do with your belts is put them in a fashion that kind of makes sense. And I always like to have my buckle on the outer part of the shoe. So I'm going to take... Um, my bigger belt. I'm going to be taking this belt, it's just a brown studded belt that I found at Goodwill, and I'm just going to wrap it around my boot. Make sure it's kind of like the same height as this one over here. And I'm going to make sure my buckle is on the outer corner, and I'm just going to work with it until I get it exactly where I want it to, and make sure it's tight. going to tuck this into the belt loop. My belt is already cut because I used a portion of this belt for the bottom of my other boot because I really like the studded brown belt. But I wanted the buckle to be on the other boot, so. So I want this to be on the bottom because it is my bigger belt and I feel like the bigger belt should just be on the bottom. So this is how I have it so far. I haven't glued it yet, I don't want to. I want to place my belts before I actually do glue them. So that is that first belt. I'm going to take this belt. If you're finding that your belt is kind of um, too long for your boot, it's okay because you can definitely cut it down, which is what I'm going to have to do with this belt actually. Space. I am going to do it 
so I will still be able to stick my foot through it. And so I'm just gonna loop this through the back so it's completely through the belt. And I'm just gonna cut the back part. I'm going to do this kind of in a V shape. I think that kind of looks cool, just wrapped around completely. Um, so I'm gonna leave that like that. And now is where you can decide whether or not you want to glue your boots first or you want to glue the lace on. Um, I actually glued the belt on first. It helped me kind of determine where the placement of my lace was going to be. And so I'm going to be gluing my belt on first and then be gluing on the fabric choices that I decide later. So I'm going to be taking my glue like I said, I'm using a lot tight super glue. Um, got this at Home Depot for like three dollars. So I'm just going to be using this and gluing the belt to the boot. I just apply this right onto the belt. Just hold it for a second. Try not to get any super glue on you, and if you do, don't touch anything because it will get stuck to you. It is a horrendous experience to have to try and go through. I am promising you, it's just not a good idea press from the inside and the outside and I'll deal with this back thing later. I'm gonna go around and do the front. I usually hold this for about 30 seconds just to make sure that it's going to stay in the position I'm putting it in. If you're really worried about getting glue on your fingers, you can use a knife to apply the glue, like a plastic knife. You can use your scissors to just kind of push on the fabric for you. Um, I've got some super glue on me so far, but I was kind of being reckless with my first boot and I was just really excited about getting the belts glued on. And so I just kind of didn't really think about where I was putting my fingers. And so. As long as you're thinking about it, it should be okay. Now for my back pieces, if you have any like braided belts and you're worried about like the back frame, because uh, if you can notice these aren't attached, I'm just going to glue the braided pieces together. That way instead of dealing with four pieces, I'm dealing with two. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take the ends of those braided pieces, put a little bit of glue on them, and attach them back onto the belt. And I'm just going to hold this for a good 30 seconds to make sure it's going to stay. It's a really fun project to do with friends. Um, I was actually going to be doing this with a friend, but it is really hard to find cowboy boots um, that you don't want to spend like a trillion dollars on, especially if you're using it for like a craft project like what I'm doing. So, yes. Next, I'm going to be gluing my mustard belt on. Um, I'm just going to take this off now, and I'm going to be gluing that in the same process. I just like this mustard yellow color. I like any like rustic color and um, because my boots aren't the traditional, like the brown boots, they are kind of like a pinky mauve tone. I just thought it'd be really cool just to have like little things of color on there. Make sure you have your belt placed exactly where you want it to if you need to adjust it while you're gluing. Do so because you don't want to end up having something that you don't like. That would be really sad. I'm going to glue the last belt on. I'm just going to place that back onto here. And I'm going to glue the front first. This brown, the chichi type belt that I got for my top has like flowers and really cool type of vintage designs on it. Also, make sure you have enough glue when you first start because I had to go halfway through making my first boot and go get another glue. My little flap, put a little bit of glue on that. Oh my gosh, I ran out of glue. I ran out of glue. What? I ran out of glue. Are you serious? Yes. No, I'm barely using any. There's no way you went through the whole thing of glue. It's gone. Watch. Nothing. Dry. I was just telling you guys the importance of making sure you have enough glue, and I didn't have enough glue. So these little, like, super glue Loctites only come in 0.14 um, ounces, and so that's, like, way too little. So, like, a bottle and a half, maybe, is what you need to do a full set of boots if this is a type of glue that you decide to use. So I'm just gonna keep gluing on the last bits of this um, top vintage belt. I love how I was just explaining the importance of having glue. I literally just like went to Walmart right now and got glue. And it's really hot outside, hence my hair being up. It just like 
so hot outside right now. Okay, so this is what we got so far. Not bad for a system of sale. Not bad. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is take lace. If you decide to use lace like I did, I think it adds kind of like a more girly touch to it. Um, I just went to the Goodwill and I got this like tons of scrap of kind of like lacy material, kind of like a tablecloth material. And this is what I'm going to be using. It was like 99 cents for like this huge thing. Um, but I'm going to actually be cutting in half because about half is about half this length width actually is what I'm going to need. So I'm going to take my scissors and just cut down the middle of it. You can go to like Michael's or something and get cinch lace. Um, I just need the thicker parts of the fabric in order to help hold my lace and make sure I'm gluing it directly to the boot. Um, so make sure your lace is going to be the right circumference of the boot. I accidentally messed up with my first cutting job and I just boo booed. So this is going to fit perfectly around my boot. Um, and now it's just about having the placement correct. So what I tend to do, what I did with my last boot, was take my lace and put it underneath my boot all the way around until I get my desired effect, you doing this. So this is where I plan on gluing my lace. And because mine is kind of chunkier in the back, I'm just gonna completely tuck the lace under there. Goes all the way around. This is about where I'm gonna want my lace. Wherever you want your lace is up to you. This is about where I'm gonna put it. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to glue my boot to my lace and my lace to my boot. So you can do that really in any way or fashion you want to. I just found that this kind of worked better in adhering to my lace because it is not cinched already. It does not have a, a complete top because I cut it. So I'm just going to pick random spots to glue this to. And then it's important not to forget about the back ends of your lace and make sure those are also glued on as well because I feel like if anything's gonna fly away, this is probably what's gonna fly away. So here we go. Here's the boot we've got so far. I mean, this really doesn't take that long. It's more finding the placement of the belts and then maybe the lace, that takes the longest. So I mean, the gluing part doesn't even take that long. So um, my last little finishing touch is I'm putting strips of, I'm deciding to go with a gold color. I actually am just taking this from my Sun Devil shirt. If you can tell, I just cut off my um, sleeve, which is I'm actually gonna do it to the other side so it's even, it's not gonna like <laughs> look really strange. But um, I'm taking this and I'm cutting it into strips. And before I did that, I just made sure that this would fit around my boot um, before stretching it out. And then I just pull. Kind of gets bigger and longer. And I just wrap this, literally, just wrap it around my boot. Wherever I feel like it should go. So I'm gonna put it kind of in between my brown belt and my mustard belt. And this one I have kind of like a thinner one, as you can tell, but this one's a little bit thicker and I really honestly, I don't even mind. And I'm just double knotting it. And I'm not gonna glue that piece on because um, I can replace that easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that is what I have and these are my finished boot looks and I'm just so excited. Literally my boots cost me 35 bucks, my belt and my fabric and glue all together maybe 15 tops. Tops. Each of my belts was between 99 cents and $2. This, in all honesty, was such a fun project and I love this. It was so much fun and I hope you guys have time to do this. Really, it's so simple, so easy. And I hope you guys had fun watching me do it. So thanks for being a part of this. This was one of my first do-it-yourself projects and kind of was a big kind of feat for me. I just really appreciate all my subscribers and um, just a quick notation I guess at the end. One, finally my Birch box has been shipped. I just got the email today so I'm super super excited to get that and to be doing my first unboxing with you guys. Another bit of news is that I'm doing a giveaway and I kind of hinted at this in my info boxes and maybe I mentioned it I can't even quite remember at this moment but I am doing a giveaway once I reach 50 subscribers. It's going to be a fantastic giveaway. I can't even explain to you how awesome it's going to be. So right now, when I last checked, I had 43 subscribers, and I love all of you, so thank you so much for subscribing to me. I seriously appreciate it. Um, once I get 250, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, and it's seriously going to be amazing. It's going to be a high-end 
products giveaway and you're gonna be super excited like I can't even tell you how excited he's going to be so um, besides that the last tad bit of news that I do have for you guys is that I am going to be doing a swap um, her name is Amy and I'll leave her um, link in the down bar below I am going to be doing a swap with her and it's going to be really exciting it'll be my first YouTube swap and it's just gonna be a great time so um, thanks for watching guys and I hope you liked it bye